All right, first of all, thank you very much for actually have this conversation rolling. We're really excited to um, come to these kind of events. I've, I have a background in gaming. I've, I've been an investor for, for many years now. But um, we have this in, uh, city initiative that, uh, that we're running for the last three years based in New York. And uh, actually, we're, we're doing these projects in Helsinki, too. And we're doing these projects in uh, Lisbona. So uh, I just I, if, if you can read it, I'm actually, I made a mistake with these colors, uh, as you see. <laughs> But um, excuse me if I'm looking at the monitor, because I, it was very last minute, I, and I made this presentation in the flight. So just if, if, there, if you see some mistakes, no, now you know why. Uh, I, I play as a managing director of uh, Civ Labs, a community based. We're working with a lot of startups around the world, we, uh, and we connect a lot of venture capital, capitals, and, and, and we also advise a lot of investors around the world to, uh, for good initiatives. So if you see an initiative in Helsinki, we definitely contact our guys in New York or vice versa. And we're trying to have a, sort of a hub. Uh, around uh, the capitals of U Europe. There's a lot of things going on, I mean, with the exception of the Netherlands, because we're working in Amsterdam, both in Amsterdam and Eindhoven, since the startups of, in, in the Netherlands are usually based in um, Eindhoven, especially at the moment. Um, just a little quote uh, saying about the capabilities of uh, 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 cities and what they can provide for, for citizens. And I have a couple of images coming up. See if you can recognize. Please, please uh, uh, stay engaged. There's not a lot of people, so it's, uh, it's, it's uh, very friendly. So interrupt me at any time, any moment. Uh, I don't mind. Uh, do, do you have any idea where this place is? And, why, and what, what's going on here? Close, close, close call. <laughs> it looks like it, right? So it, it's, it's basically one of those ghost towns in, in, uh, in China that looks like Shanghai. So it's a copy of a copy because it, Shanghai itself is a copy. The next one as well, there's nobody's living, nobody's living here. They have nice lighting, obviously, so uh, uh, the tourism must be booming, uh, especially at night. Um, and we got this one. It's, it's my favorite. It's beautiful, and uh, it's one of those ghost towns too. So, but these things happening all the time through, throughout history. The, we have a lot of ghost towns. We had cities that people uh, actually left all at, all at once. Cities uh, like this is built for people not to live, I'd say. Um, and I categorize it. This is one of those uh, uh, flight things, uh, so bear with me. There's more reasons to have a ghost town, but I think we can break it down in, in three subjects uh, or three titles uh, economically. I'd say China is a good example, but uh, I think a lot of a lot of stuff is human caused. So either people people feel like uh, they are in danger, they, they don't they don't like the place. Uh, uh, Kabe, uh, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, was from uh, originally from Iran. So we have a lot of people living living that country uh, b b to pursue uh, interesting startups abroad. So the, the lot of a lot of educated people are leaving the places. So I, I know that uh, a student town in the middle of Iran actually reduced uh, to 70 percent left to reduce 20 percent. So th th now they're only students and and, and and uh, some of the guys are uh, professors so and gov government actions so we, we realized all, over the projects of the uh, civ lab we realized how important it is for um, uh, governments and, and their policy to change the way we view cities um, so uh, since we're in, in, in Europe, uh, north of Europe, I, 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 I categorize it into uh, four titles of what are the challenges. We got uh, a lack of public spaces, we got uh, disconnections, and uh, obviously uh, crowding. Uh, the cities are getting extremely uh, crowded in, in, in many forms. And, and, and the problem is just growing. And the percentage of people coming to the city of Helsinki or the percentage of people coming, uh, assuming you're, you're based in London, right? No, I'm in Prague. 
in Prague. Uh, so, <laughs> same thing going on in Prague. It's even worse, I, I, I assume, than, uh, than Helsinki, that people are just uh, coming into the cities for opportunities that exist. But one of, the, one of the conversations that we had is why other cities are not developing initiatives to, to go forward, and what can we help and what can we do to help them in actually growing? Um, we thought if we narrow down the challenges, uh, either on health or climate change, then we can go specifically move things around. And, and uh, maybe out of that, that many that I wrote down in, in, in presentation, maybe we can, we can touch down at least three or four of them to, uh, to help them to grow. And I think the root of all, of all of the problems that we have is the lack of engagement. And I, and I mean it in a, in a b biggest possible sense. I think uh, uh, the, the, if, if you think about those development, those pictures that I show, those were uh, decided by the, by the government to build those stuff. The developers built it without talking or engaging anyone to... Uh, to come to, to live in the cities. They never thought about infrastructure the way uh, probably European cities are developing. And I think that, that, that's one of the problems we have uh, so, so far. And, and, and we, we've noticed a lot of uh, uh, gaming can actually help us with the, with, the, with the future city, and we call it smarter. We, maybe it's not gaming, but I would, I would assume uh, 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 an application, a mobile application like Uber didn't happen before a lot of mobile apps. I think Uber actually got a lot of inspiration. Uber-like or, or uh, a Fudora, let's say, they got, they got a lot of information from, uh, from what, what was existing, like Google Map, digitalization, and they learn a lot. I mean, even the, the, the cars of Uber or Fudora, the way that you see it, it's, it's very much uh, inspired by mobile games. And, um, and we saw the rise of city builder games. Actually, there is a lot of investment going in, 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 into the city builder. We, we, we've noticed that over the last two years, 40% uh, of funds, investment funds in, in gaming is actually going to city builders. Please raise your hand or, 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 uh, or uh, give me a nudge if you know any of this one by one. I mean, it, it, does anybody know Scott? Okay, you know. <laughs> all of them, you know all of them. Um, so, uh, we, we, especially nowadays in Amsterdam, we have an initiative that we're using uh, another break in the mall. So we, in, in the Netherlands or cities like, uh, or country like Netherlands, Amsterdam, and Antwerp, we don't have malls. We don't have huge malls like uh, the Mall of uh, Dubai or Mall of uh, Sweden in Stockholm. But, um, um, <laughs> but uh, we were using that to help uh, uh, city developers in Amsterdam to uh, to build the projects, which I will mention by the end of the presentation. So, uh, who knows this game? All right, so I think more than the, the. Okay, all right. So basically, we are we, we're trying to educate um, a lot of our architects and urban developers to uh, true Grand Theft Auto. So we, we were asking them to, uh, to play the game, to see what are the challenges that they see. And, and they, when they, through the workshop that we had, uh, the Smart City New York, uh, in, in New York, through, through a workshop, we asked them to tell us, uh, especially the Weiss, what was the challenge? Because that Weiss is based in California. So then we had that workshop and we, we tried to fix those challenges and uh, uh, figure out what are the urban uh, solutions. Um, we think uh, the, the, the Helsinki, uh, the VR and AR uh, infrastructure is very helpful to our, uh, to our cause at, at CivLab and uh, we are, um, I'd say, actively looking for a lot of partners for our next seminar in, in New York and, and, and our community base and incubator to join uh, join us in New York because we, we, we figured out, uh, it, it's funny that the city of, in, in, in a short short time, uh, the guys that we are in AR uh, 
uh, they made uh, a, a kind of a mock-up of city of uh, Helsinki, and there are there are some in in New York, there are some in California, but we thought this this is the place that they can do it better. So we want to actually learn more and more. So. We also think there, there should be more initiatives. Uh, you should know these events last year. And I think that was, I, I think me and my colleagues, we, we all thought that this is one of those good events that, that talks about AR. It's, it's, it's AR, VR, and whatnot. And we, we, we learned since last year that there are so many of city builders, there's so many of opportunities to actually get involved in the city. And uh, we have another event that we, we work in Amsterdam called Games for Cities. And, and uh, we, we're now working on um, five cities in, a, in the Netherlands to, to actually gamify the city experience. So uh, please uh, uh, look it up. Um, so this was basically uh, the topic that I wanted to talk about. But I want to talk about what, are our in, what, what is our initiative and how we're going to actually fill in the role of uh, the games. Um, basically, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to pa pass uh, on the last slide. Uh, basically, I think we uh, we believe in a smart city innovation. We are trying to uh, uh, connect every smart solution in every aspect of our life. I think mostly we, 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 we're doing that with digital transformation and uh, uh, digital healthcare. And we have a network of solutions that uh, we, we think the, the AR and VR and, and city builders should take a look at that. And uh, so we can facilitate those, those knowledge in, in, uh, across, across the cities and across the uh, industries that we're working with. Uh, a little bit of, of, of our own initiative. We are a bunch of entrepreneurs. We're working with governments, academia, and I will show you a, a list of the places that we are trying to work with, and and how to how we actually commercializing on those uh, the uh, game cities, uh, g games for the cities, and uh, this is this is where we start. We, we, we started already with R&D for the city of New York and the city of Amsterdam. And uh, we will be trying to get, the, get help from the city of Helsinki and uh, to actually build a product that is going to go forward and be presented, a, a sort of a demo or a product in New York. Um, all right, so the building part will be, the, will be one of our actually most important job uh, for the future because uh, we, we, we are in talk with a lot of venture capitalists and the money is there, the demo is there, but the product we want it to be as re we want it to be as realistic as possible, and we don't have that yet. And there are no initiatives that that shows uh, a realistic mock-up of a city or a challenge for urban developers or even real estate guys to uh, get things rolling. And and the funny part is, when, when, uh, but this is this is this is between me and you. Whenever we talk about the city of New York, we get we get so many offers, so many uh, so many good initiatives coming uh, uh, forward, um, in comparison to the city of Lisbona. So we we see the shift of gamers, venture capital guys, and the governments to go toward a city, a, a bigger city, a metropolitan city with more difficulties to learn. Uh, and adapt that into their own city. So, but but most of our job it would be on the uh, on the building those applications uh, for the for the years to come. So this is my pledge to you. Uh, I, I, we we are we are going forward to to build that solution, but we we, we need uh, many help, and we need helps from many other cities, uh, and, and we need help for cities that they are, uh, they, they see the challenge coming in, uh, uh, and, and, and we, we can fix that earlier before, before the city of Helsinki or city of Prague gets uh, overcrowded <laughs> with a lot of traffic. Um, this, is, this is the model we're working in. And we put the co uh, community and citizen on one side, we put the universities on the other side, and government agencies on, 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 on one side and private sector on the other side. So why we say community and citizen, maybe on, on, on this format, we're talking about gamers. We want people to game more. 
we want them to game, uh, uh, to, to play, uh, to take play seriously. We want citizens to actually have a chance and uh, let's say have a say in building their own cities and, and talk about it. And, and just like the workshop we had last year, to tell us what's needed what, uh, and, and join. So uh, basically that's why. And, and once we, we made that hub happen, and uh, as, uh, then we can connect it to other cities. That's, that's basically uh, the, the plan. And obviously we can't even go further than that. And uh, I wish I had uh, my gaming guys to help me with, uh, with uh, some sort of uh, uh, animation to make that uh, a little bit bubbly. Uh, but but that's, that's what we think. It's, uh, there is a lot of initiative, but our initiative is going forward to find solutions for cities with gaming. We have a case study in New York, uh, and that's, that's basically the result of our uh, workshops and three years of seminars. And, and what that, this is per, pretty much what we uh, uh, share in vision. Uh, we we want to create more jobs, and we want to make the, the, the city basically smarter in, in every aspect. Um, this is the, uh, a bunch of activities. Uh, we, we, we roll it down in, in, in three, uh, let's say, subjects. Uh, and and we are, we are, uh, the, my team is uh, working on the community, again, building and building community. Uh, we have uh, we have guaranteed 100 partners uh, from venture capitalists to government agencies, and I think that that would help uh, uh, the the program go even further than that. We have two tracks. This is our track, uh, the my track, and and then we have track two that is working with uh, with the incubators and accelerators in in uh, the major cities in Europe. Um, well, some of our partners in, in terms of uh, venture capitalists. We, I'm, I'm, I'm flying to, uh, to Vancouver uh, beginning of November to um, make sure that Citibank is investing in this, in this plan too. They already said yes, so we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do a Toronto workshop and a Vancouver to workshop. Um, I actually have more to to say, uh, there's, a, there's a couple of slides left, but uh, I, I was wondering if, if anybody has any uh, question in, on, on, on this topic. I know, I know the time is right. <laughs> You're already yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, have, I have a couple of things going on on, on, uh, on the screen, so I know what's yeah. going on. Yeah, you probably have a red light and blinking. And <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to show you any of those. <laughs> no, I mean the- Or ghost towns, yes, yes, no, yes. No, it's those. happening, yeah. it's happening. <laughs> so. Um, if you guys in, uh, well, if, if you have no question, let's say if, you, if you're in any business that we could um, partner up and uh, discuss about this, I'll be more than happy to talk to you after this. Thank you. I'll, I will be also in, 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 in London, so just, just for a note. Thank Won't you. go anywhere. Please.